to Sophia's Kitchen from Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, today we are going to make some ham stew. Okay, here's our ham. We got it all cut up. Okay. And we're going to use some yellow squash. We're going to use some zucchini. We have uh, some carrots. We have some potatoes. And we have cabbage. Onion. We have onion. We have some Brussels sprouts here. Uh -huh. And you guys are going to stay tuned for some easy recipe instructions, okay? Okay. See you later. Well, as you guys could see, we have the ham cooking. What I did is I put uh, some oil in here. And I put about a cup and a half of water for our ham to simmer so that it could cook and some of the juices could come out. And uh, in a little while, we're going to add some other ingredients. And until then, see you later. As you could see, we just added some uh, potato halves and we added a few carrots in there. Our water has dried up half, so we kind of want to leave some uh, water there so that our potatoes and our carrots can, you know, cook and soften up before we add the paste in there. And um, we may be able to brown up the ham a little bit too. And also we are going to add in here some accent. See you later. Well, right now I added my uh, one can of tomato paste in here. I added some black pepper. I'm going to add some granulated garlic. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And I'm going to let the tomato paste fry up a little bit. Then I'm going to add some water. Well, before I add the water, I'm going to put some onion in there. I want this tomato paste to fry up a little bit. So when I add the onion, I'll turn you guys back on. Right now, I just added uh, a can and a half of water to our tomato paste, and we're going to let that cook for a little while more. I would say maybe about uh, four to five minutes. And then I think we're going to put in our onions and our cabbages. Okay? See you later. All right, now we're going to add in our uh, vegetables. We have onion here chopped up nice big. And we got chunks of cabbage. And we got a handful of Brussels sprouts we're going to dump in right now. And then we're going to let that cook. For, I want to say, we're going to let it cook for about maybe another five minutes. And then we're going to add some more ingredients and in. see you later. Okay, I mixed up our um, cabbage, our Brussels sprout, and our onion. We're going to let that cook for about another four minutes. And then we're going to add the rest of our vegetables, which is the summer squash and zucchini. Now we just added the uh, yellow squash and also our zucchini, a little bit extra accent and some black pepper. And we're going to let these cook for about three minutes because we don't want them really mushy. We want them a little bit on the raw side. Tastes better to us. And then we're going to get ready and serve it. And there's our finished dish right there. Mm -hmm. And my guinea pig is going to test it out for us. Well, there it is. Mm -hmm. Good? Okay, enjoy, guys.